Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to be installing and unboxing the Boost XT Outdoor Ultra Low Noise Pre-Amplifier. And it comes with all this stuff here. We've got this uh, weatherproof connector here, some wires, USB cable, um, and there's the preamp itself. I already attached a one foot cable to it and you'll see later on in the video why you probably want longer cable than one foot. I had to buy these separately. It did not come with any coaxial cables, so be sure to buy some or make sure you order some when you order the preamp if you don't have any for the installation. And uh, these weatherproof connectors, they're a little bit big, so I had to cut them, cut them down to size, and then I um, taped them up a little bit before I took them out. So here's, uh, here's an example of that, because they're great, but I don't know how to build my own coaxial cable. So what I did was I just took some scissors and then I just cut them up, you know, halfway, just, just to sort of loosen that part where I can get the, the connector through and then shoved it through and voila. Okay, and here's some footage of my TV before I installed the preamp. And as you can see, it doesn't look too bad, but every now and then it gets all pixelated and it gets really annoying, especially if you're trying to watch the Super Bowl or something. All right, here's my antenna. It's just about, uh, I don't know, 25 feet up. And it's on a bunch of poles that I put together to make my own makeshift um, pole there. And uh, we need to get that thing down. <laughs> yeah, so that was a little bit crazy. I did get that thing on the ground without actually dropping it, but you saw how close I got. I mean, whoo, that was close. All right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go ahead and unhook that, zip tie the piece on, and then we're gonna get that back up there. Hey, what's up? Hi. Did the TV go out? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why. And we need to get it back up there and that's uh that's gonna be comedy let's see if we can get this on video hopefully nothing bad will go wrong i'm really glad nothing drastically went wrong in that setup there there was potential for disaster not recommended Please do not do what I did. But, uh, you know, definitely know your property. Know your own handiwork. I put this up so I kind of had an idea of what I was dealing with. Be careful with the ladder. Nonetheless, that was still really, really hairy. So after a big storm, if I find that thing on the ground one day, we'll know why. We'll know why. All right, back to inside. Yeah, okay, so I'm just um, disconnecting the coaxial cable from the wall here. Put my one footers on, and I'm attaching that to the power inserter. And there's a spot for the antenna, and there's a spot for the TV. And you can plug this into your TV on the USB, but I don't have a spot for it on my TV, so I'm going to just use the, the power plug that comes with it. Let's see if this works any better.
Uh, I don't know, it kinda looks worse a little bit. <laughs> Alright, picture quality is terrible. Alright, what's up? That video quality is terrible, and I'm really disappointed about this preamp. But, um, before I go ahead and, um, say it stinks and it doesn't work, I'm gonna try one thing. If you noticed up there on the antenna, I mounted the that preamp piece right behind the actual antenna, and I'm thinking that might interfere a little bit with the signal. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring the pole down again, and I'm gonna change the position of that, um, that preamp up there. I'm gonna change it so it's sitting way below or way beneath the actual antenna, and hopefully that's gonna help us out a little bit. If not, then I'm sending this thing back. All right, stick around and see what happens. All right, watch this, Harlan. What? Let's take this down again. Is that heavy? Kind of. Deal. It gets hairy and hairier each time I do it. All right, what is up? The instructions have the flat part of the preamp up, and the instructions also have the preamp right underneath the actual antenna. So I think we're gonna be in good shape here. The only thing is I have these one foot cables, and I should have ordered those two foot cables. A little uh, extra footage would have been nice for this, but I think we can make it work. Let's go ahead and try it out now. I actually don't have enough cable to clear the, to the antenna completely. All right, you know what? I can't really chance it right now. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna find a different cable. In fact, if I have to get the cable that's running out of the TV right now, I know that's at least three feet. So I'm gonna be looking for a cable that's a little bit longer. I do not wanna have to put this up and put it back down again. Plus, I really wanna see if it's the proximity of the preamp with the antenna that's our problem. And I, and I kind of think it might be. So I'm not able to clear, I'm not able to clear the antenna with this one foot um, piece here. So, so we're gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to do some creative. All right, I did find a cable. Uh, it's probably like, it's probably like two, one, it's probably like two or three feet long. The problem with this cable is it does not have the threaded connectors on the end. So I think, uh, I think we're gonna have a little hiccup right there. It's not gonna be the exact best connection, but I'm hoping it's gonna be enough of a connection to really do the trick. And man, I do not wanna take this dish down again. All right, let's see if it works. And at least getting at least getting this preamp away from the antenna, the original intent, I think that's gonna be huge and seeing if it's actually the, the preamp or just my whole setup here. I mean, this might be the weakest link. All right, so this piece just failed already. It's so loose. <sighs> All right, plan C. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna get my really nice connector that runs off my TV. That coaxial cable is nice and threaded. It's nice gold connectors, you know, the whole deal. All right, I'm gonna grab that, I'll be right back. These are six feet long, so a little bit longer than I wanted. I wanted a nice, uh, I wanted a nice two foot connection, with the shortest wire possible from the antenna to the preamp. But I think we're gonna have to go for this. And, uh, you know, I absolutely had to have those threaded connectors because I did not want that to be a factor in all this. All right, let's do it. Let's get this thing back up there. And uh, I don't think I'm going to attach it to the house before I check it. I'm gonna check it first, make sure everything is good, in case I have to bring it back down again. 
Okay, that's hairy. Every single time I do it, it gets hairier and hairier. Let's go check the connection inside. Hey, it looks good. <sighs> okay, this is good news. It actually looks really good. Not one skip at all. You know, it's only been 20 minutes since I switched everything around, but this has potential. Okay, this is being broadcast at 480p, so ignore this. You know, this is uh, this is at 1080, so this is uh, this is looking pretty good. Nothing skipping. The audio is not tripping out, and the pixels look really good. So I think we made it. The project is now pretty much done. Um, I'm praying this is going to help with all that pixelation that I've been getting lately. And you know, it's it's really bad in a storm and it's really bad during certain phases of the atmosphere. But um, this preamp, I have good I have a good feeling about it. So just what we did there, if your preamp is, uh, you know, check the installation. If don't install it right behind the antenna, and there could be a lot of interference created if you did do something like that. I mean, that's what happened to me. So be sure to get up there and I am gonna go up and secure the last screw up on this uh, mounting bracket that I have in my house. And then we're gonna call it quits. And I'll keep you updated. Uh, over the next few days, I'll keep an eye on that TV and I'll be sure to let you know if something comes up. All right, thank you everyone for sticking with me today. And if you like this video or you found some sort of value out of it, so please hit like and subscribe to my channel. You guys are wonderful. You guys are awesome. I wanna hear about anyone else who has one of these things. Does it work for you? Did it work for you? Do you have the same problems as me? Leave a comment in the comment section below. But I would like a sub. Excellent work. See you all next time.